Hello there, Wormlings. Black Dragon King here, and welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim. Last time we got through the first half of Bleak Falls Barrow. Now we're on to the Sanctum. The Sanctum's not very big, but it's got enough in it. Some more linen wraps for cloaks and capes. Before then, they were useless and pointless. Pull through and pull the chain for this one. Kill that guy. So that wench. If I if I can freaking hit. Ooh, what the heck happened there? I don't know. Undead. The hell are you? Whoa! You got Daedric armor. What the fuck? Now to search all these people. People winch. I can't even take the Daedric stuff off of her. That's unfortunate. I know I have my own Daedric set, but you know, that's money right there. That's a lot of money. First time I ever saw one with Daedric gear, though. I've seen them in uh, Ancient Nord, I've seen them in just regular clothing, wedding gear, and all that stuff, but I've never seen them in Daedric. What, what else? Right. Last one up here to loot. I think that's all of them. Now we reach the Hall of Stories. Now here we got three rings and the keyhole. Now I already know the combo here, but uh, for those of you who don't know, if you take the claw and look at the palm in uh, forget how to look closer at something I forget but uh ah there it is right right stick zoom uh, you can see the engravings on the palm of the claw there the, bear, the butterfly, and the owl. So, 
that's the order that you need to put them on top to bottom in the uh, on the door there once you do that and to do that do it properly on this door at least turn each uh, ring twice you get bear butterfly owl <clears throat> and then use the claw on the keyhole and it opens the door pretty simple well, let's get through before we go further in come over to the left here got another iron vein that we can mine out real quick And done. We got a hateful winch over here that we can kill. Before she starts summoning other Draugr at us. Killer ghost too. Sometimes when they respawn as a ghost, make sure you kill them quick. Otherwise, they're going to have fun time summoning everything on you. Yeah, just like that. So, What do you got? Uh, shock shield, my arrow, gold. Eh, good stuff. Ooh, that ebony axe. We can sell that for money later. That'll be good. Now, before we go up to the wall here, I want to loot this place. Wraps. Gold gem. Ah. Now here, we got Meridius Beacon. Now the first master chest, which is this big, the bigger, the biggest chest in the game. First master chest you open after you reach level 10 will have... 10 or higher will have Meridia's Beacon in it. Take it, and it starts the, the Breaking Dawn quest line. Listen, hear me and obey. A foul darkness has seeped into my temple. A darkness that you will destroy. Okay, where's your temple? Return my beacon to Mount Kilcreen. Ah, gotcha. I will make you the instrument of my cleansing light. Okay. You got it. You got it. Hopefully I get something good out of that. Anyway, but back here behind the wall, we got a novice level chest to unlock. Gold. Soul gem, sapphire, ooh nice, silver ingot, and a gold sapphire ring, which to me is just another sapphire. Now that everything's looted and whatnot, let's approach the wall. Bunch of engraving on the wall. A word of power learned, force. Hoof. Which to Three emblems there. F U S it is apparently the ancient Nordic language for force. You stay in your coffin. You don't come out after me. Yes, exactly. You stay there, you lie down, you be a good drugger. Good dead drugger. Anyway, to get out of this cave, just activate that lever there, the handle. Wall opens up. You come out into this cave here. 
the chest with some good stuff in it. Flowers and a skull. I wonder if that's a shrine altar to some dead dude. Oh well. Oh, there's a snowberry wreath there, so probably. Anyway, let's get out of here, shall we? And it's frickin' dark. Here you get a potion. Now that potion's uh, random of what potion it is. I got a true shot. But uh, it usually is based on uh, your actions throughout Bleak Falls. Me, I shot everything with an arrow, so with arrows, so I got the true shot potion. I saw Thalmor the other day. He was really scary. Anyway. Kind of hard to see, so let me get a torch out. But over here, we got a corundum ore vein. my torch out again. Really hard to see with that Darkness Falls mod, but that's what I like about it. It makes it more immersive. It's really dark, and out in a forest like this, trust me, I've been out in a forest at night like this, it is incredibly hard to see. Hey, bunny. But yeah, it is very hard to see out in a forest if you don't have proper lighting. It, it it was an accurate immersion thing that I got, so. Anyway, on our radar up there, it's kind of hard to see with all my quest markers, but we got a little hut that we're coming up on here. You can kind of see it through the trees there. Sort of. Whatever. I think they came across a wolf. Wolf or a skeever. They usually show up around this area. But you can now, you can see the hut pretty clearly now. I'm just a poor old woman, dear. No need to trouble yourself with me. Okay. Well, we'll leave you alone then. Now that we discovered that area, there's nothing more to discover throughout there. So we're going to fast travel back to Riverwood. <clears throat> now all the merchants are drained of their... Uh, their money supply so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go into the inn for a day or two can I assist? Ugh. Come on in. We got warm food, warm beds, anyway. and warm beds. Yes. Thank you. Where are you? When you? Thanks a lot. Take a room sure to thing. rent. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Yeah, I already know where it is. So. I'm gonna do sleep till morning. Nine hours.
And you have the bed for a full 24 hours. But if you go over 24 hours while sleeping, like a 9 plus 24, it's perfectly fine. So I'm going to sleep for another t full 24 hours. Usually two days is what it takes for the merchants to restock their supplies and their gold stock. So All right. Aurora, I love you, but you gotta move. Thank you. All right. Now we got stuff to sell. Got plenty of stuff to sell. We're gonna start by talking to Zenya yes. here. She's Take got the biggest stock out of all the people. Gonna sell the battle axes, keep a bow, keep that, sell that, keep one sword. Ebony stuffs, so that's good that's good money right there. I don't know what I got here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to. Right then. Can I help you? Get all my stuff out. Mm -hmm. Take a look. That way, I can go through everything that I have and make sure I don't keep anything duplicate. Ah, the money-making process in this game is slow on viewers. But worth it. I'll keep that. Keep an orchid bow. Sell. 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 Sell that. Sell that. I'm not really a fan of axes or maces. We're good. Sell two of those. I keep one of every one of every piece just so I can display them in my houses later. That stuff. Uh, keeping the full fur armor. Sell those. Sell that. Sell those. What else can I sell? I don't want that steel armor. I want the one with the with the pauldrons, so I'm gonna sell one of them. Or sell that one that I had. Sell that. That's good money. And keep the clothes. Potions now. Sell, sell. Sell the venom. Keep cure diseases, they're always good to have. Since I got ultimate healing potions, you can pretty much sell everything 
tiny because they really can't help you at this point. Well, you guys, you might be able to get use out of them. I don't have any use for them. Scrolls. You guys can do what you want with yours. I'm selling mine because they're good money. Some of them are, at least. Keep my food. My ingredients. Books. Books. All that stuff. Uh, sell a clairvoyance because I don't. But I'm going to keep the destruction magic books. <coughs> and sell the crappy soul gems. Keep grand, keep greater. Grand are for smithing and or enchanting, and greater are for recharging. Lesser, they're just money. Petty, same thing. And the skulls are collectibles. So I think that's everything. All right. Then. I think so, yes. Now let's talk to the other barkeeps, see what they got. Let's save that appetite, huh? Mabel, what do you got? Ooh, rings. Soap, definitely want soap. Don't want to be a dirty boy. Not in that sense, at least. Need cooked beef. Apples, yeah. Yum, 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 yum. Yeah, horker loaf is good. Milk is good. Mead. Apples. And salt bile will take that too. Why not? Oh, and your lockpick. When you... Hi there. You just sell the same thing that Mabrel sells. Need something? Orgnar. Got rooms and f drink for the thirsty. Food what do you got? Hungry. Dagger. Don't care about ale. I do. Cooked beef. Hunting brew. Nord mead. Good. Get all that stuff. Time to eat. Eat. Uh, I got a lot of regular ales. So I'll keep that. Time to go see what uh, Alvor's got at his blacksmith shop. And then we'll talk to Luke and then turn in the claw and raid his store too. And it's raining. Of course it'd be raining. It's okay. I like rain. Glad you're here. Alvar. Hmm. Blades, helmets. Pretty much anything to suit your needs. The arrows, you do. Don't ask again. Don't ask why, viewers. I buy arrows. Wait, do I have that already? Hold on a sec. Do I have soothe? Yes, I do. Any time, Fred. Hey there. The finest weapons and armor. I don't need that. And you only got one carrot. However, I will raid your uh, smithing materials. Thank you, good sir. Safe. And then one more stop at Lucan's.
Hurry up and tell Lucan you have the claw. It's a fine day with you around. Okay. You and yes, me, Lucan. We're the only people around. First, oh, what do you got for sale? Arrows, good. What do you got here? Uh, do do do. Love, sure. Nothing I can't find elsewhere. Cure disease, though. Take that. I know all those. And we're good. All right then. Backed out too far. Ah, good to see you. I have the golden claw, by the way. You found it. <laughs> there it is. Strange. It seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> funny thing, huh? I'm gonna Almost put this too back funny, where it belongs. As in suspicious I'll funny. Never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. <clears throat> okay. Well, I want it. Because I collect the gold. I collect the claws, so I'm stealing it back. Now, I want to go talk to Alvor again, because he's got money that I can do this with. Jagged crown. I actually have one of those. Jagged crown actually looks good with the uh, dragon bone armor. Alvor. May the gods watch over your battle. Looking to protect yourself? You got money. Some damage. Now, we just stole the golden claw, so it's got the stolen tag on it. So, just sell it. Buy it back. And it no longer has the stolen tag. All right, then. That way, if you do get arrested or whatever by the guards or anyone, it... Uh, it won't matter. They they won't take it from you because it's no longer stolen. That only works if you have the fence perk already. I do, but if you don't, make sure you don't get arrested until you uh, sell that back. Quick mark to my bow. Let's save real quick. See if we can get the white run for uh, before my time runs out here. I should have enough time. This is actually quite uneventful of a walk. Usually I get wolves and bandits coming after me, but at least I did on my past couple of characters. This one, nothing. Not a thing. I don't even have the mud crab that usually comes out around here. Alright. Now, before we go over left there, there's something up here I want to do first. Heard there Brigid Sack. What do you need? Need a blade? Go fit trouble? And see if I can get I her to say it. Don't suppose need supply? Hails. Come on. Everything all What if if you need post thinking of set be glad you're here. Staying out of you're like me, huh? Don't 
Defense yourself and I don't think you Come on, say it. And I'll haul you into Hey, you make you careful if you if Come you on. Can. Say the you arrow line. Destruction magic. Trying to show off something you here. The I used to there she was. She said it. Yeah. <laughs> Moment they say the yeah, I got that mod too. The moment they say the arrow to the knee line. Well, they get divine smited. You off the road. Go over there on the side. Basically, I wanted to do that to get the uh, guards' equipment. Make a new, another save here. Thank you. Uh, I have a couple of places I wanted to discover while I was over here, and there's something to the north that I want to take care of first. <clears throat> I have to do this now. If you don't do it now, and then go on adventuring and whatnot. And especially if you do the Dark Brotherhood line, you can't do this ever. But it changes dialogue later if you do this now. Some of you some of you know what I'm talking about already. Some of you don't. Those of you who don't you'll see what I mean later. And we got Thalmor here. This doesn't concern you, Finn. You're interfering with official Thormor business. I am a Thormor justiciar on important business that you are interfering with. We are Who special are the Thalmor? envoys of the Aldmeri Dominion, the rightful rulers of Tamriel. If you'd like, I can show you why. If you're smart, you'll walk away. Okay, I'll take your word for it. Just curious. This watchtower is usually always getting raided. So let's help them out. Yep, they're getting raided. Why am I not surprised? Competent guards, your tower is now safe. No one of you died. Correction, even though two of you died. You don't mind me taking your gear, do you? No? Cool. Taking it. Bye. Where'd that other bandit go? I know. There they are. I knew, I knew rain was com coming after someone up here. Huh. <sighs> anyway, we got one more thing to do up here. Thing I originally came up here for. See a cart in the distance over there. <clears throat> uh oh, it's got a broken wheel. Problem? Oh, 
Poor Cicero is stuck. Can't you see? I was transporting my dear, sweet mother. Well, not her. Her corpse. <laughs> She's quite dead. Uh, Take yeah. Take mother to a new home. A new crypt. But, ah! Wagon wheel! Damnedest wagon wheel! It broke. Don't you see? Is there any way I can help? Yes, the kindly stranger can certainly help. Go to the farm, the Lorius farm, just over there, off the road. Talk to Lorius. He has tools. He can help me. But he won't. And we got a saber cat attacking us. Lovely. Must have scared him off. But no problem, Cicero. I'll help you out. I love Cicero. He's awesome. I don't know if you guys like him, but, you know. He's cool to me. Anyway, we gotta go talk to this farmer dude for him. Well, let's do that. And I think I'll call it a day. We gotta talk to Yes, this guy, right here. Oh, for the love of Mara, what now? Uh the little man needs your help with his wagon. That Cicero fella? Huh. <laughs> Tell me something I don't know. Crazy fools already asked me about five times. Seems he's not satisfied with my answer. Why can't he just leave us alone? So what's the problem? I'm sure I'll pay you. Pay me? You think this is about money? Have you seen the man? He's completely out of his head. A jester here in Skyrim? Ain't been a merry man in these parts for a hundred years. Don't you think it's about time to have some merry men around here? Box. Says it's a coffin, and he's going to bury his mother. Ah, mother get it? Is it Robin Hood? Merry men? Yeah. War contraband, weapons, school. Yeah, I know that was horrible. No Shush. way I'm getting involved in any of that. Uh, he's a stranger who needs assistance. Let's do the right thing. What? And just who in Mara's name are you, anyway? Hmm? Come here, telling me my business. And for what? To help a <coughs> fool? I'm no one. I'm just a traveling hunter. But you, you have tools that you could help him with. So, you know you should help him. Look, I, I... Yes, you're right, you're right. Feller might be nutters, might not. But fact is, he needs help. I turn him away. What kind of a man am I, huh? Look, um, thanks. And I'm sorry for my unneighborly reaction. If you talk to Cicero, you be sure to tell him I'll be down to help soon. I'll let him know. Well, so let's go back down to Cicero and tell him we changed the farmer's mind. seems so very far. Well, I talked to Lorius. He's agreed to fix your wagon wheel. You, you did? He has? Mm-hmm. Oh, stranger! You have made Cicero so happy, so jubilant and ecstatic, but more, even more, my mother thanks you. Here, here for your troubles, shiny clinky gold. A few coins for your kind deed, and thank you, thank you again. <laughs> well, here we go. So we got 750 gold for just helping Cicero and going and talking to Lorius. Pretty simple. Pretty easy. But anyway, that's about all the time I have for this episode. Next time we'll get into Whiterun and 
go see if we can warn the Jarl about the dragon that we've been told to do like several days ago. And we got sidetracked with a bunch of other stuff to do. Anyway. Let's get under the light here. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the video. It's been fun playing with you guys. And I hope to catch you all in the next one. Peace out, Wormlings.